Uh, tonight, we're going to be doing something super, super fun. So if you're here and you have Animal Crossing on your Switch and your Switch is with you, uh, comment in the chat that you have your Switch on you because what we're going to be doing tonight is I'm actually going to be inviting some people to my island to play my favorite Animal Crossing game, which I have named Candyland. So if you have your Switch on you, definitely put um, that you have your Switch in the chat we can play some plan plan. Uh, while we're waiting for everyone to join us on the screen, I'm going to show you around my island a little bit. There's Rocket. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite parts of my island, okay? Down here, this is my pirate bay, which I love. What I'll do in this one, I have a class where students come and they get to try on all their pirate outfits. And then I dig a bunch of holes and hide stuff. I'm gonna do this on stream one of these days too. And it's gonna be super fun. But that's one of the things that I do with my classes on out school with all my students. Another one is right here, I have musical chairs. Oh, that's kind of not either. But we play musical chairs. Hey, Inspector Gadget, how's it going? Good to see you, good to see you. How are you doing tonight? Uh, Inspector Gadget, what? up to tonight other than hanging out with me. <laughs> nice. Hey Renee, 32. How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm just showing up some parts of my island. This is my fashion show area, which I think is so fun because you come right here and then you get to choose your blind outfit, right? And then you hey, Fanta. Fanta. There we go. <laughs> Fanta. I'll call you Fanta. <laughs> so you get to do like your little costume change. And then do your fancy little emote that you want to do. Yay! Your reaction. <laughs> hey, Naomi, how's it going? Thanks for the love. Love the boss. Ah, it's Nicole. I was like, I don't know who, who this is. How are you today, Nicole? Uh, I'm just showing an island tour right now. But if you guys have your switches with you, tell me in the chat because I need some friends to come to my island. I'm going to show you guys what we're doing tonight, okay? This is what I call Candyland. Now, Inspector Gadget is uh, one of my one of my students, and she has played Candyland. So what we do is I have presents scattered all around, and you get to spin the wheel, and then whatever you land on is a present that you get to open up and open. Like, who doesn't love that? Hey, Ashley, how are you doing? Oh, awesome. I'm so glad you have your switch. Fab fabulous, fabulous. Okay, so Ashley, I'm going to send you the Dota code. Give me one second. Actually, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm just going to put the Dodo code on the screen with me. And then if you have your Switch, then you can get the Flavix right? I thought so. Okay, let me make sure this is my right Dodo code. Hold on. We're going to go back to the airport and talk to Orville. Run, 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 run. Awesome. Ashley, how are you doing tonight? I'm glad you're able to join me on here. If you guys saw my stream yesterday, I got a new villager right here, Keaton, and I'm so happy with him. He is fabulous. I'm really excited to have him as a villager now. Can't get rid of Rocket yet. One of my students told me I wasn't allowed to get rid of her, but I'll get rid of her. One day, one day it'll happen. She'll be gone for good, and I won't let her back. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Ah, the music is overpowered. Thank you for letting me know, because I can certainly turn that down a little bit. You guys gotta let me know these things. Is that better? Can you hear me a little bit better now? Let me know, Inspector Gadget. That is any better for you. Let me turn up my mic a little bit too. There we go. Uh, I forgot the Toto code. There we go. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you for letting me know. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So here is the Dodo code. So if you guys have your switches on you and you want to come play, that's the benefit of coming at the beginning of the stream is you get to come play uh, the round of uh, Candyland with me. Hold on. I gotta get this on my screen. I'm really good at multitasking, everyone, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> Let me get the Dodo code up here so you guys can see it. All right. There we go. Now it won't go away and you guys can see it. So I can have seven people come to my island to play uh, Candyland. So if you would like to come, you are welcome to just put that Dodo code in and come on over. 
Yeah, looks like someone's on their way. Fabulous, fabulous. All right, we'll get you on over here and we'll play a little bit of uh, Candyland. Excellent. Oh, good. I'm glad that's better. Hey, Tara, how are you doing? I haven't talked to you in so long. How are you doing tonight? Are all your kids in bed? That's the real question, right? <laughs> they never, they're never really all in bed. Let's, let's just be honest here. <laughs> Even once my kids are in bed, they still come out like five times. They're like, I'm not actually asleep. I'm like, go back to sleep. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It is what it is. All right. I'm trying to get your chat up here, guys. Uh, Tara, I know that you play Animal Crossing. Do you have your Switch with you tonight? You could totally come play um, on my Candyland Island. It'd be a lot of fun to see you, have you come play. I love the music. <laughs> One second. Just had to send this. There we go. You found ants in the kitchen and kids are vacuuming them up. You know, it's funny. Kids are funny with the chores they selectively like to do, right? My kids love to clean the bathroom. Like if I give my youngest a toilet brush, then they're like in heaven. Like, yes, I get to clean the toilet. This is the best day ever. And I'm like, okay, you can clean the toilet. But if I'm like, please pick up your shoe. No, I can't pick up my shoe. <laughs> it's very, it's a very real thing for any of the moms out there. You guys know what I'm talking about. There we go. Now I got my chat where I wanted it. Ashley's on her way from magic. Fabulous, fabulous. There we go. So Tara, do your kids have any random chores that they absolutely love to do is vacuuming one of them? <laughs> My kids like vacuuming sometimes, but not all the times. Every now and then they do. Good, I'm glad the audio's better. We'll get Ashley over here. We've got Gadget over here. What did you guys do, for those of you who celebrate the 4th of July, did you guys have a fun family barbecue, or what did you guys do for the 4th of July? I wanna know all about it. We went to Park City here in Utah, and we had a lot of fun. It was like my whole family was there. There were like 20 cousins there, all the brothers and sisters, except one, we were missing one, which was sad, but it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. So what do you guys like to do? What are some of your like summer traditions or holiday summer traditions? I wanna know about them. All right, so we'll go ahead, come over here. Ashley, remind me if you know, you know. Uh, Ashley, have you played Candyland on my island before? I'm trying to remember. I think, Amelia, you've played it before, I'm pretty sure. For the fourth, you went to your aunt's house, had a huge party with the grill and some water fun. Nice. See, that's the right way. That's the right way to do summer, right? Not just the fourth, but the right way to do summer, just in general. <laughs> ah, you have not played Candyland. Ooh, you're going to have fun. Okay, so what we'll do, you guys are welcome to come into the island. Now, Candyland is at the back of the island. Don't go there yet, okay? Everyone yell at Rocket, say do mean things to her because we don't like Rocket. Mm -mm. Rocket's the worst, right? No to Rocket. <laughs> but I'll show you guys, follow me this way. I wanna show you guys something that I just barely uh, did, like what, yesterday? Right over here, I just barely put in musical chairs, which I love musical chairs. It's super fun. Ta-da! And I have to put items down when I forget to like put something in front of the chair. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. It's a good one. You can come and play the piano and everything. <laughs> it just makes me smile. I just love Animal Crossing, guys. Are you gonna change the song? Will it let you change the song, Gadget? Is it gonna let you change it or does it not let you change the radio. I don't even know if it does. Try it, Ashley or Gadget. Try and change the song on the radio. See if it'll let you. Oh, Gadget's thinking over there. Nope. <laughs> nope. Short, sweet. That's the only way you can chat in Animal Crossing, isn't it? Let's try this one. Do you guys have a favorite KK song? I have a couple favorites. Stale Cupcake is a good one. I also like Surf and KK. This is probably my favorite one. Which is perfect because we're here on the beach, right? 
KK Bubblegum. It depends. Depends on your mood. Let's see how KK Bubblegum sounds. Gotta find it. Hold on. No, not shuffle. KK Bubblegum. Do you spy it? Let me know when you spy it. I gotta find it. No. I don't have all of them. Maybe I don't have KK Bubblegum. Did I pass it? I don't think I have KK Bubblegum. I know what I'm doing tonight. Gotta go get KK Bubblegum. All right. Well, let's head over here to Candyland. And we can get started. And then if some other people want to hop on and join, then they just won't get as many presents. But they can still get some. Okay, so Candyland. We go around my useless fence. <laughs> I, like, put the fence there. And I was like, you can just go right around it. <laughs> All right, so let me explain how Candyland works. This is a game that I kind of made up just for my out-school classes. And, oh, looks like Jude's online. Excellent. You guys will see a lot of people coming online. These are all students that I have uh, that I'm friends with. So what we're going to do is right here, this is Candyland. Don't take anything yet. Let me tell you the rules. But what you're going to do is you start somewhere, right? This is not your conventional um, kind of game where you have a start and a finish. But you choose somewhere to start, and then we will spin the wheel. And whatever that number lands on, you go that many spaces forward or backwards or sideways, and then you get to pick up the present that's there. I know this isn't really like Candyland, but it was the closest thing I could think of to the, for the name of this. So, <laughs> all right, so Gadget and Ashley, if you guys would like to find your starting points, I'll spin the wheel and you get so many items. Oh, actually, before that, Ashley and Gadget, how are your pockets? Are your pockets full? Are they empty? Check your inventories and see what you've got going on. I should have warned you to come with empty pockets. Empty pockets? <laughs> okay. So if you guys need to, as we're going along, if there's an item that you get that... Oh, excellent. Your pockets are empty. Gadget, how are your pockets looking? I love the thinking face. <laughs> They're always empty. Excellent. You know the drill. You come to Miss Devon's Island with empty pockets. You know. Uh, for anyone who's just hopping on, here's the dodo code for my island if you would like to come and play Candyland. But here we go. Find your spot. And our first number is... One. I hope you guys can all go one. I would be very... Very impressed if you can count that many. <laughs> and then tell me what you guys picked up. So you pick up the item and then unwrap it and let me know what you got. Either on the Twitch chat, if that's easier, or on the Animal Crossing chat. Doesn't matter to me. But tell me what you got. I love your light stick. I traded my, my nice branch for a wand. <laughs> Let's see, where did Ashley go? Ashley with her purple eyes. You're rocking those purple eyes. I cannot rock those purple eyes. They always kind of scare me a little bit. Ah, Anthurium plant. <laughs> Any botanists out there who know what that is? It's a very pretty, like, red plant. I don't think I've ever seen a real one, but they're really cool. I've seen lots of fake ones, and I really like them. How about you, Gadget? What did you get? Typing on Animal Crossing, if you guys have never done. Ooh, a cherry lamp. Nice. All right, let's see what's next. Typing on Animal Crossing takes so long. It's like... <laughs> okay, our next number is... Five! Number five! So go five spots, and it doesn't matter which way you go, right? You can go back five, you can go forward five. Totally up to you. Welcome everyone who's joining the stream. My name is Ms. Devin, and we're playing Candyland tonight. So if you have your Switch on you, and you want to go uh, to my island, this is the Dodo Code, and we are playing Candyland. And so when you come here, you get lots of presents for coming to play. Ah, oh, someone is on the way here. Oh, right, I know, I'm right there with you, Ashley. I do not have patience for Animal Crossing chat. <laughs> I'm like, nope, not happening. That's what I love about my out school classes is we're on Zoom, so I'm like, I don't have to deal with the chat. I, I just don't have to, and it's great. <laughs> All right, let's see who's on their way here. Jude from Jude Isle. Excellent, Jude. Come on over. Come on over and play. <laughs> I love the music in Animal Crossing. I just think it's fantastic. I really do. Uh, da -da -da. Once Jude gets here, uh, he'll come up to where we're at, where we're playing Candyland. 
and he can join us. If we don't have anyone else who wants to come to the island, <laughs> elevator music be like, right? <laughs> It makes me laugh. Did you know there's an actual word for this, like, elevator kind of music? It's called Muzak. If you ever watch, like, TV shows and the elevator music's going, I'll say that, like, Muzak. <laughs> I, I watch shows... You guys are gonna think I'm weird. I always watch shows with, um... Subtitles. That's the word I was looking for. Because when I was living in Spain a million years ago and in Argentina, if we went to the movies, there were always subtitles. And so I just got used to it. And now I'm like, if there's not subtitles, it just seems really weird to me. It just does. <laughs> Jude is here. Fancy, fancy kimono, Jude. I love it. Love the kimono. You got a flower in the hair. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. All right, Jude, go ahead and make your way up to Candyland. And we'll do some more rolls. So we've gotten a plant and a lamp. There are some fun things hidden like gold. And I have some bells hidden in the presents. All right, our next number is number one again. Really, really like number one again? <laughs> Makes it easy for you guys, right? <laughs> All right, let me know what you guys got after you've gotten your present. These are my little, this is my little gyroid army. I need to put another one here and then do two more so that they're like a pyramid. That's my next my next mission on this game. Finish my gyroid army. <laughs> All right, what did you get, Ashley and Gadget? What did you guys find? Thinking, thinking, opening, thinking. <laughs> A card tower from the turn before. Oh, the security uniform, nice. And lots of bells, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's do another spin. Four, nice. I wonder if Jude's lost, hold on. I'm gonna go find Jude. You guys take your four steps. I'm gonna go try and find our friend Jude. CJ has been hanging out in this one spot on my island all night. There's Jude, hi Jude, come on. <laughs> Yeah, another person's on their way here. Excellent, excellent. And get another person over here. Try to figure out who it might be. Is this gonna be you, Tara? We'll see. We'll see who it is. Everyone ready for the elevator music? Here, it's, co it's coming. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Excellent. Yilatan, am I saying your name right? I hope so. Well, welcome to Akala. Super excited to have you. I'll come to the airport and guide you to Candyland, okay? That way you can find it, because I don't think you're super fruit. I don't think you've ever been to my island, actually. This will be a lot of fun. I love exploring other people's islands. It is one of my very favorite things. There we go. Yep, I'll meet you at the airport, but my island, or the game, and not Animal Crossing, my goodness. Candyland is in the middle back of my island, but I'll come to the airport and help you get there. While I'm doing that, um, Gadget, would you like to spin the next wheel for whoever, for the people who are up there, while I'm helping our new friend make their way up to the island? Not the island, the game. I swear, guys, my brain tonight. <laughs> Hi, Roxas. Welcome back. Good to see you again. How are you doing tonight? Roxas was on stream with me yesterday, so it's always nice to see familiar names. All right, Jude. Jude is probably still loading. Mine always loads a little faster because it's my island. We'll get Jude over here. And then, yeah, Gadget, if you want to spin the wheel and then just put in the chat, you know, four, two. Hopefully there will be an eight eventually, maybe. Jude is frozen. This way. This way, Jude. <laughs> I'm eventually... There we go. There's Jude. I'm eventually going to turn this into a Harry Potter house. And I'm going to have, like, a great hall and, like, an astronomy tower upstairs. There you go. All right. Jude has found Candyland. I'm going to go get Yilatan from the airport. What I want to know, guys, in the chat, do you have... A favorite villager or a nemesis villager I think both are very important 
<laughs> Your game takes 10 years to load. Welcome, Jude. I'm glad that you're able to hear us on Twitch and everything. Let's see if we can find... Ooh, someone's leaving. Aw, oh, man. That's all right. No worries. Excellent. No worries, Jude. Um, I'll tell you guys, so Jude, <laughs> I was about to say, Jude is the one who made Rocket come to my island. It is his fault that my island nemesis persists on my island. He gave me a shiny Gyarados in our Pokemon Legends Arceus class, and he made me bring Rocket back just to torture me. Just to torture me. <laughs> All right, looks like Yelatan is heading out. Oh, Peewee? <laughs> Peewee is your favorite villager or your least favorite villager, Raxus? That's what I want to know. Bye, see you later. Come back and play another time. I went villager hunting yesterday and Peewee startled me very, very much because it, it's like this ape that has this very intense, angry eyebrow kind of situation. It was very startling. <laughs> your favorite is Sprocket. Yes, Sprocket is fabulous, Gadget. I definitely agree with you. Is Sprocket on your island now, Gadget? Or not yet? I was trying to remember if you had Sprocket. What about you, Ashley? Who's your favorite villager? Ah, your favorite? <laughs> Peewee's your favorite. If I ever get Peewee, I'll send it to your island. Yeah, they are, they are siblings. Sadly, no. Maybe one day Sprocket will come live on your island. Best day ever if it does, right? Yeah, I do not like any of the apes. Although there is one ape, I can't think of its name, but it looks like Rafiki from Lion King. I'm like, I could get behind having that ape on my island. But that's the only one. And only because it looks like Rafiki from Lion King. <laughs> Otherwise, no. All right, Gadget, go ahead and spin the wheel. I'm coming back to you guys. Actually, before I go up there, I wanna show you guys this place area too. This is my great Animal Crossing baking show area. So I have an Animal Crossing class where my students come and learn recipes and then we bake together. It's so fun. It's just a one-time class, but it is one of my very favorites. We have such a blast with it. All right, coming back this way. Your favorite villager is Ione. Oh, I love Ione. Totally agree with you there, Ashley. Do you have Ione on your island, Ashley? Come or the wind spiels forever. I'm coming, I'm coming! <laughs> Dude's just happy. Dude's excited. All right, push the button. Gadget, push the button. I will push the button. <laughs> two. The number is two. All right, Gadget, you can go. You can con collect your presents. Now you're pushing it. You know what? I'm gonna push it now. <laughs> We're having a, a color wheel power struggle right now. <laughs> All right, go ahead and go six spots. That is our next number. Six spices. Go for it. You got a globe. Excellent, excellent. Ashley, what did you get? <laughs> I love the like, light swingy thing. It's my favorite thing. I love it. Are you going to keep getting presents, Gadget, or are you not going to get any more presents? No more presents? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hold on one second, guys. we go. This cord is like ridiculously loose. I need to get a new one. And so my watch hit it and I was like, nope, we're done talking. <laughs> um, six spaces is the number. That's what I was going to say. Ah, uh, you got a blue playroom wall and you're signed up for the great. Oh, yay. I'm excited for you to come to the great Animal Crossing baking show. And yes, I would love Ione. I have gone villager hunting for Ione before. I've never found her. I don't know why she's so elusive, but hopefully, hopefully she will come to my island one day, replace Rocket. <laughs> All right, next up, seven spaces. Oh, okay, Jude, you gotta put on the soft serve hat. Where are you at? This is actually a present from Gadget. <laughs> put on the soft serve hat, serve hat, Jude. We must see what it looks like. 
we're all waiting. Spotlight's on Jude. <laughs> You're like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> that one is a pretty awesome one. Ta-da! If any of you are uh, Breath of the Wild players, I like to think of that soft surf hat as Hesu's gift after you get all 900 Korok puzzles or Korok pieces. <laughs> all right, let's see. Next up is three spaces. Someone's leaving. We miss your friend. It looks like Gadget had to head out. I assume because I could see Ashley and Jude, but. You never know, maybe it's someone else. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everyone, if you are new here. Uh, my name is Ms. Devin, and here is the Dodo Code if you would like to travel to my island. We are playing Candyland, which is basically my excuse to just give you lots and lots of items. Oh, no worries, you got a call for a mission, got a helicopter hat out of this island. <laughs> Inspector Gadget, go save the world. Very important job you are doing. We appreciate your service, thank you very much. <laughs> I love Inspector Gadget. Ione must be shy. I agree, Raxus. Ione is shy. She doesn't want to be found, which I get. You know, she is like a night squirrel, so. All right. Next up is... Four spaces. Here we go. Four spots. I'm really excited, guys. This uh, fall, I'm going to be heading to Disneyland. And I'm gonna ride the teacup ride a million times. I love the teacup ride. It's one of my very favorites. Most people don't like it. I love it because I love Alice in Wonderland. It's such a good ride. <laughs> all right, what'd you get, Ashley? What'd you get, Jude? Let's hear all about it. Ah, uh, you got the <laughs> use the Iona Amiibo card from your sister. That's a good call. I tried making my own Amiibo cards once upon a time. I, it, it was too much. I was not motivated to actually figure out the whole process. <laughs> Got like halfway through and I was like, meh, I'm done. <laughs> that was basically, that was basically the extent of what I did with my Amiibo cards. Three hats in a row. You are just like the hat master, Jude. I like it. Okay, let's see. And a microphone stand. Nice. Four spots? You guys think that's four? We're gonna say it's four. We're gonna say that that's four spots. Four spots. It might be five. No, it's four. It's four. Executive decision made. It's four spots. Let's see what everyone got. I'd like to give you guys enough time to open up your presents. I'll show you guys a little overview of my island so you can see all my villagers. I have Rocket, Keaton, Deidre, Spork. Ah, I'll go to my next one. Savannah. Who I love. I love Savannah. Renee, which is one of my favorites because I have a really good friend named Renee. But I love it because it's Renee. <laughs> I love it. It's just such a good little little mom joke, dad joke thing. Ugh, rock it again. Keaton, Flurry, and Julia. So I love my character my villagers. And Shep. Love all my characters except Rocket. Yay! A kid's tent! Seven spots! Uno, dos, tres, siete. Seven spots, everybody. This is what the kid tent looks like. Bring back Nerd Bunny. <laughs> I had a bunny that was blue and he had red glasses. And yes, Nerd Bunny was his name. It was Doc, really, but Nerd Bunny works too. I like Nerd Bunny. This is what the kid's tent looks like. And it's one of my very favorites too. I love that item. I have a lot of favorite items, guys. But there are some items that I don't like but most of them I, I like very much. <laughs> What'd you get? Ooh, a clay foot or claw foot tub. Nice. And a tower of pizza. Excellent. Excellent. Maybe you can make like an Italian area on your island, Ashley. Four spots. There we go. Go ahead and head four spots, everybody. Let's see how what you guys get next. I'm wondering... I put out a couple of funny things, and I'm curious to see who's gonna get them. <laughs> All right, what'd you guys get? A lighthouse, excellent. I have a lighthouse on my island. How about you, Ashley, what did you get? Seven, a whoopee cushion, yes, the whoopee cushion is the best. I love it. 
Seven is like our lucky number tonight. Miss Devin, number seven. That's why. That's why. The game knows. The game knows I'm hosting. <laughs> All right, go ahead and head seven more spots. Did you make that outfit that you're wearing, Ashley? That is cute. That's a really cute custom design. I really like that one. Look at that. I'm just trying to see. Don't go seven more. Just go seven. Ah, Rosie's poster. Do you know who Rosie is? Jude, do you know that villager? Rosie's a cute little cat villager. It made me laugh uh, yesterday when I was villager hunting. I didn't come across a single dog. Not one. Not one single dog. And I was very sad about that. Yeah, Rosie is a villager. It's like this bluish, purplish kind of cat. She's super cute, though. I like her a lot. Haha, -ha, finally not seven. What do you guys think? Is that an eight or a one? Cast your vote in the chat. Is it eight or is it one? Eight or one? What is it? I don't know. Pearls. Ooh, nice, Ashley. You can craft some fabulous mermaid things with your pearls. One. One. All right. You guys are the ones playing the game. It's a one. Deal. I like it. <laughs> Okay, one for that one. You guys have to travel really far. I know you're gonna be very tired. Need to take a rest. Okay, oh, I forgot to put it in there. One spot and then two, three spots. Oh, you better not bury those on my island, Jude. Or you're gonna be busted. <laughs> I uh, went and visited my, you have Rosie and Pocket Camp. Oh, and in Animal Crossing. So you know who she is. You know who she is, Ashley. Um, I was visiting one of my students' islands and they had put a whole bunch of pitfall seeds just so that I would fall into it. I was like, excuse me, very rude. <laughs> yes, I do remember that. Jude was at my island, six spots guys. Jude was on my island and he dug up his name in, you know, made his name on the island. It made me laugh. <laughs> Ooh, lunar, lunar surface. That's a nice one. That's a flooring that you can make a moon room, Jude. You can make a moon room in your house. So, Tara, I'm curious, does your island, I know, who else in the chat has Animal Crossing on the Switch? I love to hear about different people's islands, like if they have a theme or anything like that. So if you have any details about your island that you want to tell me, I want to know. <laughs> All right, we got six. What did you find, Jude? Fencing, nice. Is it mermaid fencing? I put out a couple of fencings, or is it the iron fencing? Ah, uh, yeah, the park fencing. That one's cute. I like that one too. All right, the next number is... Ashley, how about you? What did you get? Me? <laughs> me, I know what you meant, Raxus. It just made me laugh because I said, Ashley, what'd you get? Me. <laughs> Raxus has an Animal Crossing game, very nice. No theme, mostly just random. You know, I kind of do that too, Tara. Like, I have a bunch of random stuff but it's kind of like themed in sections. <laughs> but as a whole, I don't have an actual theme, you know. Seven spots, everyone, seven spots. Um, I wanted to let you guys know, I've had people ask me, where do I get all the items, right? Because this is a lot of items. It really, really is a lot of items. <laughs> and so I follow, and I highly recommend that you guys follow him also, uh, Lerong Jibok, he is fabulous streamer on Twitch and on Facebook and he has Treasure Islands open to the public and if you subscribe it's only two dollars a month awesome awesome so highly recommend it you started in April and got your five-star island <laughs> it is an accomplishment it really is gold nuggets no you're not ready you're not too late come join us Tara King Tut mask excellent and gold nuggets we got a gold theme going on with that round three spots yeah come anyone is welcome to join at any time guys uh, this is one of those games like i said that you don't have to start at the beginning you can come whenever you want but yes please come on over see there's still lots of presents and i think that jude and ashley are gonna run out of pocket space empty your pockets before you come that's what i was gonna tell you <laughs> but i think jude and ashley are gonna run out of pocket space if someone doesn't come help them so if anyone else wants to come. Ooh, a masquerade mask. Let's see it. Are you going to wear it? I like to see you guys wear the items that you get because I think it's funny. The, like, Frankenstein situation when you have, like, the Hestu's gift and, like, the masquerade mask. I think it's funny. <laughs> How about you, Ashley? Angled post signpost. Ooh, nice. That's a good one to just, like, put around on your island, that angled signpost. Ah, six spots is up next. Ta-da! <laughs> yes, 
<laughs> All of your many hats. Jude's many, many hats over there. <laughs> uh, how about you, Commander Root? Do you have Animal Crossing or have you ever played Animal Crossing? Also, is your username a reference to Artemis Fowl? I really hope that it is because I love Artemis Fowl and there's a Commander Root in Artemis Fowl. <laughs> and I can't, I'm going to just butcher all the names. Copal Scope. Copal Scope. Ah, the gaming chair! Excellent, and a froggy cap. Where the froggy cap actually put it on. That's a good one. And Tara's on her way over. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. We would love for you to come, Amy. Come play with us. I love giving stuff away. Love it. I love it, love it. How about, uh, yeah, you, Raxus says yes. Yes, you have Animal Crossing, right? How about Jody Moon? Do you have Animal Crossing? Have you ever played Animal Crossing before? Curious how many, yeah, you're around half pocket space. Yeah, we still got time, we still got room, right? <laughs> time for some music. Myrtle, I love that, that's a good name. I had a grandma named Myrtle, well, great grandma named Myrtle. <laughs> oh, and right after Arceus class ended. Oh, you caught a gear. Yes, nicely done. Oh, excellent job. So for anyone who's confused when I'm talking about like my classes and stuff, I kind of assume people know, but you probably don't. So I'm an out school teacher, which means that I host video game social clubs for kids on out school. And so we play everything from Animal Crossing to Arceus to, gosh, what other ones do I do? Mario Kart, Super Smash, Zelda. All the things. So I have a ton of fun with my students. Hold on, let me spin. There we go, and then I'll come and find you at the airport. Yeah, froggy hat! Number three. Three is our number. I know, the loading time takes a while. But at least now you know how many spots you can go while I go and get our new friend. I'm coming for you, Tara. I like the frog cap. It looks good on you, Ashley. You should always wear it. Always keep it on, never remove it. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, Mama Panda! Yes! One of my daughters, her favorite animal is Panda. There we go! You wanna follow me this way? Hold on, she might still be loading. There we go! Okay, we'll go this way. I really need to put a tube that goes to Candyland. That tube goes to my house, which isn't really necessary, but whatever. <laughs> Weird! <laughs> Weird that I have a tube that goes to my house. I agree with you there, Raxus. I don't really need it in my house. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head over this way. It's funny, because I feel like my island is easy to navigate, but then, you know, until other people get here. <laughs> Graveyard wall, the exact opposite of your fairy core island. <laughs> so Tara, go ahead and pick a spot wherever you would like to go, and we will spin the roll. And then Copal Scope, whenever you want to come over, Come on over. There we go. Seven. Seven spots. Oh, but you know what could be kind of cool, Ashley, if you... <laughs> I like the masquerade mask and the hat, Jude. Nice. What you could do is, like, you have your whole fairy core island vibe going on, and then your house is, like, super spooky. That would be epic. I would love that. So, Tara, just go ahead and take seven spaces, any direction you want. Pick up the present and tell us what you got. Okay, that sounds good. Well, and if you look at my mini-map, you can see I'm right in the middle at the back. So, I'm back there. Ooh, froggy chair! Nice! We got the froggy chair, we got the froggy cap. I wonder, and I don't know if any of you guys know the answer to this, I would like to know the answer. Why isn't there more froggy furniture? You know what I mean? Like, there's only the froggy chair, which I get is nostalgic and stuff, but... I would love to have like a whole froggy room. How cool would that be? Oh yes, the Monstera are awesome. They're a plant that you can put in your house. All right, next up is... Six, six spaces. There we go, come on over. Let's see, what else have you guys got? Where did you go? You disappeared behind the... There we go. I was like, I lost Jude. I lost Ashley when you guys leave my field of vision. There we go. 
Oh, cute. Tara got something over there. Someone's on their way here. Excellent. Come on over. 99,000 bells on the wall. And a golden urn. Nice. I guess maybe it's because it isn't popular. I mean, that could be the reason why they didn't do lots of um, froggy things. You look fancy in that. All right, everyone close your inventories for a moment while we have a uh, cold scope come on over. Yeah, I love the golden crown. I'll show you my, oh, okay. Who here in the chat, tell me, who here is a Hamilton fan? That's what I know. Do you love Hamilton? That's what I need to know right now. Because, whoops pushing all my wrong buttons because I love Hamilton and I made a costume inspired by Hamilton one of my wand outfits <laughs> so I'll show it to you guys never seen it oh you like Hamilton Ashley oh dude you gotta watch it it's awesome your kids walk around singing Hamilton <laughs> yes but do you sing Hamilton Amy that's what I'm wondering rascally mama that's an excellent name I love that yes Hamilton it's excellent it's on Disney plus Highly recommend it if you like musicals. Heads up, it is by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who is also fabulous. But the reason I say heads up, because I have younger kids, it does swear, and there is some, there are some other details that you may or may not want your little, little kids exposed to, so just do your research. But it is a great, great musical, if you like musicals. I'll show you guys, though. I thought of, the reason I was talking about Hamilton, oh, that's a cute outfit, I like that. The reason I was thinking about Hamilton is because Tara got the gold crown and I made a King George costume and with my wand. So I'll show you guys my King George. I feel fancy. <laughs> All right, get everyone over here. So my plan, guys, is to do this stream where we will either play um, Candyland or the Great British Baking Show or whatever every Tuesday at 7.30. That's my plan. So. If you guys like these games, tell your friends about them and come next week. That's your 12 plus. <laughs> yes. I all yes. So seven spots, guys. Let me show you my um, Hamilton outfit that I made. There we go. King George, you'll be back soon. You'll see. I better not sing too much, or I'll get like a copyright claim or something. <laughs> all right. What did you guys get on that one with our six spots? But yeah, magic circle flooring. Ooh, that one's kind of like a really fun one because when you put it in your house, it'll light up and everything when the lights are off, dude. That's a good one. What'd you get? Ashley's so excited. I don't even know what she got. <laughs> oh, are you clapping at my outfit? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now I got it. <laughs> Bottle ship. Nice. We'll go three spots. Three spaces on that one. Amy, when you get up here, just find a spot and hop right in. Who's next? What else have we got going on? We got a bottled chip for Tara. So Tara and I have known each other for many, 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 many years. <laughs> a set. What set? Did oh, you are set. <laughs> I was like, you got a set? Beach ball. Oh, nice. Dude, what you can do with the beach balls is if you customize them, you can actually make them look like all sorts of stuff. But a lot of people will do watermelons. And then you can make like a watermelon field, which is kind of a fun thing to do. But beach balls can be customized into lots of fun stuff. Fireplace. Excellent. Bells and a desktop computer. Hanging with the gyroids. Oh, no wonder I can't see you. You're hiding over here. What's up? <laughs> I love the gyroids. Bells, bells, bells. Rob Street Club, that's right, that's where it's at. <laughs> Two spots. And it's funny because uh, we would play games together too, didn't we, Tara, way back in the day? I, I remember we would play, there was one video game we would play at your house on the computer. I wanna say it was Arthur. Was it Arthur? <laughs> I'm trying to remember, but for some reason I think it was El Arthur. More bells! Uh, Jude, how many bells do you have now from all of your many classes with me? <laughs> Prom wall? Oh, you're gonna like that one. You're gonna like that one, Ashley. That's a really cool wall. One of my very favorites. I should stop saying that, because everything is my favorite. I just, I just love things. <laughs> Alright. Two spots! Around 30 million. Jude has around 30 million bells from coming and hanging out with me in our <laughs> Animal Crossing classes. Alright. Night Games Puppy Plushie, yes! 
Oh, yes, excellent. Even though I admin then group the group on Facebook, I don't use my powers for my personal island. <laughs> I know, right? It's I spend time outside my classes gathering all these items for people because I love just giving items away. It just makes the game more fun. Ah, paper kite butterfly model. You can put that. I like to put my butterflies and stuff in front of the museum. That's where I like to put them. Four spaces. So Amy, how long have you been playing Animal Crossing? And like, do you have a favorite villager or what? Tell us a little bit about your island and stuff. I wanna hear about it. And I see we have a couple more people who have jumped in. So welcome to the stream guys. Uh, if you would like to come visit the island, it is not too late. Here is the dodo code and you are welcome to fly over. We're playing a round of Candyland. And so what we're doing is we're spinning the wheel and then you walk to the spot and you pick up the present that's there. So if you wanna come and play with us, Come on over. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. <laughs> One spot. Since your 12 year old's birthday in February. <laughs> you stole it from him. Nice. Oh, wizard robe. Excellent. Oh, Ashley, I'm glad you said that. So since these are starting to run out, if you run on nothing, just move to another present, guys. Just go to another present. It's all good. I want you guys to have presents. Jude is the pirate the masquerading pirate wizard. <laughs> That's what Jude is right now. <laughs> five spots, everybody, five spots. Oh, the Coco, oh my goodness, I can't even say this, Coco Kapokariri. He is the little frog that is the Sanrio frog. And so it's a little, like, little snack guy for him. Here we go. Here we go, one spot, oh no, one spot. You feel like you're cheating to us, <laughs> You're not cheating, Tara. I make up the rules. It's not cheating if I say so. Your main island, you restarted a few weeks ago. Then you got a second switch for Mother's Day. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, I have a separate switch from my daughters because I wanted to be able to do whatever I wanted and not ruin their stuff. And I wanted them to be able to do like whatever they wanted to, you know? It is the cutest little lily pad. That's the Coco Kika Pikariri thing is a little lily pad guy golden seat you have two top pocket spaces no worries one space there we go and so as your pockets are starting to fill up if oh nice you got a song ashley if there's something in your pockets that you don't want just drop it on one of the spots because one of your other players might want it so if you're like hmm, i don't really want this just drop it on one of the buttons um or if your pockets are full and you're happy with your pockets, you are happy to, or you are welcome to head back to the airport, whatever you'd like to do. <laughs> you want a second switch for you, I know, right? It's very nice. Well, I tell my girls, I'm like, this is my work switch. You can't touch it. And then I still let them touch it. <laughs> Six spaces. You're gonna go sit in the hammock you just got? Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. I need a hammock, a hammock. There's nothing wrong with a hammock all day, every day, right? You recommend it? <laughs> Amy says you should definitely get a second switch. Treat yourself, right? That's what we learned from Parks and, Re and Rec. Treat yourself. <laughs> I think it's, I also agree. I think it's really nice having my own island because then I can do whatever I want, right? And I don't have to feel guilty if I like get rid of something or anything. And anyway, seven spots. Ah, billiard table. Excellent, Jude, excellent. Seriously, like look at how fabulous this outfit situation is that Jude's got going on. This is why I make you guys put on the clothes when you get them. <laughs> we, Jude, would you like to spin the wheel since your pockets are full? You can be the game show host, or if you have to head back to the airport, it's totally up to you. Nice, yes. Excellent. Oh, you are the froggy police. That's what you are right now, Ashley. Four spots. There we go. Ah, Steloid, nice. Oh, you're sad you haven't found clothes yet. You'll have to find it. You shall. All right, you have time to spin. Spin as long as you can, Jude, whenever you have to head out. I No worries. Um, I'm sure you will find some clothes. What I'm gonna do another night, like I said, every Tuesday, I'm calling these mini games with Miss Devin. What I'm gonna do is a fashion show, but it's like a scavenger hunt fashion show. So I'm just gonna put clothes out and give you like 10 seconds to find a shirt and pants 
and an accessory, and you have to wear them for the fashion show, and then you get to go find another outfit. I have all these plans in my mind. It'll be fun. <laughs> Three spaces, says Jude. Jude has taken control of the game. His rules now apply. I wish there was one. Where is one? Meh, he's in charge. He has taken over the island. <laughs> Oh, you haven't gifted- well, now you have plenty of gifts to give your villagers, right? You've got plenty of gifts from this game. <laughs> Four spots. Four spaces. Yeah, I- I really need to update my Able Sisters clothes. They are still Christmas clothes because I had someone come to my island and hang their, like, custom designs. And I loved them. Like, I asked that person, I was like, I love your designs. Please come hang them up. But I never make my own custom designs. So now there's still, like, my villagers walk around with, like, a Grinch sweater. And I'm like, well, I guess it is winter on my island. So that works. <laughs> All right. Six spices. Uh, that's a good call. Gift scientifically to see which personality gifts fastest. That's a good call. Have a little bit of, like, scientific thought behind it. I should gift more often. I'm really bad about gifting to my villagers. And then I feel bad. Oh, cute and parasol. I like that. That is super cute. I love it. Okay, Jude, go ahead. Let's see what our next one is. I'm in love with this outfit so much. <laughs> You're a pirate, Harry. That's what that is. <laughs> Jude's never gonna pause it. There we go. I was like, he's gonna walk away and it'll just spin forever like what Gadget did earlier. <laughs> Six spaces. Let's see where are we at. Oh, we still have a bunch. So yeah, like I said, if you want to move over to an area, you are welcome to so that there's more gifts and it's and you don't feel like you're cheating like Tara said because I know what you mean. I have felt that before too. I'm like, oh, there's nothing there. I shouldn't take it. Where did Tara go? <gasps> Tara has, there she is. I was like, you disappeared. <laughs> disappeared into Candyland. It's like losing a kid at Disneyland. I need to put your names on your hands so I don't lose you or something. <laughs> what is your Hogwarts house, guys? That's the other question that I have. Peppy seems to gift the fastest. You know, that doesn't surprise me that Peppy gifts quickly because they're just, they're always so happy to hang out with you, right? I imagine if Peppy gifts the quickest, probably um, Snobby or Cranky maybe gifts the slowest would be my guess. Hufflepuff, excellent. Hufflepuff is where it's at. Spots! How about you, Tara and Amy and everyone else in the chat? What is your Hogwarts house? If you know it. Cranky is super slow. I'm not surprised at all. What is your Hogwarts house? They don't even want you to give them a present. They're like, don't give me a present. There's <laughs> just more stuff in my house that I don't need, right? <laughs> Someone came to your house and I got back on and they said, Tara, oh, <laughs> I knew it. Tara was AFK, busted. <laughs> I was just giving you a hard time. Walla Floyd, excellent. You think you're a Hufflepuff, uh, Jude? I can see you being a Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff's where it at. My husband is a Slytherin and we went to Harry Potter World and it was the funniest thing because he wore, one day he wore a Slytherin shirt and I wore a Hufflepuff shirt. And oh my goodness, I don't think he has ever been profiled that much ever in his entire life. Everyone was like, oh, watch out for him. He's a Slytherin. And they were like, are you okay? You know, talking to me. They're like, has he kidnapped you? You know, just joking. But he was like, excuse me, I'm a good guy just because I'm a Slytherin, you know? <laughs> it made me laugh. But then on the other days when we he wasn't wearing the Slytherin shirt, no one said anything. Except I wore, you see like this one, I made this one. Puff, puff, puff. And I was wearing this shirt, and so many people who work at Harry Potter World were like, I'm a Hufflepuff. I was like, of course you are, because you work in customer service, and you're doing an awesome job. That's why you're a Hufflepuff. You can handle people. <laughs> Let's see, you've read one Harry Potter book and not seen a single movie. You know, Jude, it's okay that you have not seen a single movie. I'm a little heartbroken that you have not read more books, but I understand. I do. Let's see, I got my Harry Potter situation. Here, this is my Hermione wand. I have like five wands back there, but this is my Hermione one, and I love it. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I'm getting a wand display. I don't have issues. I just love Harry Potter. It's fine. Yeah! Ten large star fragments! Nice, Tara. Very nice. 
walloped for Ashley last time. Ashley, how much space do you have left in your pockets? Where are you at? Lost Ashley. There's Amy. Ashley. There's Tara. There's Ashley. Oh, cool. You got the boppers. I love those boppers. Three spots. Thank you, Jude. Thank you, Jude. Yeah, you're probably getting pretty full on pocket space too, Ashley, if I had to guess. But I guess you had empty pockets. And Jude may have had some stuff in his. Go ahead and go three spots, everyone. Four spots. Oh, yeah, four spots left. <laughs> I was like, four spots? Looks like a six to me. Six spots for everyone. Still got a couple over here. But yeah, just kind of stay near the presents. <laughs> You guys picked it out over here pretty well. well. I'll bring this present over. I'll clear this side of the board and bring them to you. Keep going, Jude. You're doing fabulous game show host. I'm gonna tell Steve Harvey to hire you for Family Feud. You would do a great job. No, I don't want to tidy up. I want to pick up a present. Goodness me, game. Don't you know what I want to do? All right, I'm gonna bring all these presents over hither. Make our square a little bit smaller. There we go. Um, it's not too late. We are actually almost out of presents, though. But what I'm thinking, Ghost Dog, is if you are going to be on next week, then you could certainly come. Because I'm planning on doing these mini games every Tuesday at 730. If you came at this point, there's really not a ton of presents left, unfortunately. So next week, hop on earlier in the uh, stream and you can definitely come. Because we'll do another round of Candyland next week. I'll probably do, like, three weeks one game and then switch up to a different game so i'm sorry it is a little bit late because i think if you came all the presents would basically be gone sorry i thought about making a candy land that takes over my whole island how cool would that be i would love to do that <laughs> then it would just be like an amusement park or amusement tour kind of island seven spots jude says moving all these presents over here for you guys so it's easier to get to them what are you guys getting? Let's see. This ranch low board, if you guys don't know what that is, it's one of my favorites. There I go again. See, I can't say it. <laughs> it is an item that I like very much, <laughs> but it's a really cool one if you have like a ranch style kitchen because it's a low, basically counter and it looks really cool. I could turn my other island into a whole crazy <laughs> Candyland. I could, you know, so I have a second switch and then my kids have a switch. I don't have a problem, but what I want to do on my other one is create something called the crossing and it would be a amazing, like full island obstacle course. So think like that Mayday maze, how it was just like a little maze, but like full island with all sorts of stuff that you have to get through. That's my plan. But I also think Giant Candyland would be super fun, too. <laughs> All right, let's see. What number will it be? Five golden rings. Yeah, so definitely, guys, if you enjoy these kinds of mini games and stuff, rather than just a traditional Animal Crossing stream, Tuesdays are my mini game nights. It's going to be super fun. You have five in the house. Nice. <laughs> See, that makes me feel better that other people have lots and lots of switches. But, you know, I think about it, and it's like, when I was a kid, we ha I had a Game Boy. I think one of my siblings had a Game Boy. We had a Super uh, a Super Nintendo. We had an N64. So I'm like, it's not that weird, is it, to have lots of them? <laughs> All right, six spots, everyone. Ashley, would you like a turn spinning the wheel, or are you just going to hang out with me on this lovely evening? I like it when you hang out with me. <laughs> See, look, this is how I feel. Yeah! All right, Jude's giving you the wheel, Ashley. Go for it. Take the wheel, Ashley. You're up. We'll see if Ashley gets more ones or more eights than Jude did. We should have kept count, right? <laughs> Soon to be six if the six-year-old gets one. If he gets one, have you already gotten one? Um, Amy, if you have a Splatoon fan in the house, there is a new Splatoon Switch coming out this fall. Once Splatoon 3 is released, it's a Splatoon 3 OLED, which looks amazing. Like, I might need to just get one because I need it. Um, I don't think the stream froze. You guys let me know. Is the stream frozen? I think it might just be you, Amy. 
We'll see. If your stream is frozen, let me know in the chat. I don't know why it would freeze, but it happens. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Ashley. Spin the wheel. Oh, good. Excellent. I'm glad it's better now. Go ahead, Ashley. You can spin the wheel. Let's see what you get. See, cheese. And then hit A again to stop it. What will it be? Eight spots. Ooh, nice. Starting out strong with eight spots. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, what'd you get, Tara? What'd you get, Amy? We're almost out of presents here. What'd you guys end up with? Show you guys one of my other outfits. <laughs> I love this one because I have a mustache and I feel like I should just like be able to twist my mustache. Go ahead, Ashley. Yes, keep it going. You're good. What's it gonna be? Go ahead and hit A, Ashley, whenever you want to stop it. Pirate treasure chest! Nice! Oh, awesome, Tara. Oh, we do have matching hats. Oh, I need to change back. We'll be pirate buddies. I mean, you're the pirate. You're like the pirate wizard. So are you really a pirate or are you just masquerading as one? <laughs> a doll. Excellent. Go ahead, Ashley. Um, have you seen Amy? Some people will make like little mini villages with the doll houses and the dolls and then they'll only let their trees grow a little bit. It's the cutest thing. Go ahead, Ashley, spin it. And they'll do it with gyroids too. That's something you can do with your little doll. What is it, Ashley? Two spots. Fabulous. All right, so since there's only a couple of presents left, you guys are welcome to just gather these last couple of presents. There's like, what, like four or five left. So just gather any other presents that are left on the board. That was fun. I love Candyland. I really do, guys. It's a good one. I love this game. So if you're just joining now, we're almost at the end of the stream, but this is Candyland. And what I have done is I put presents out everywhere. So next week at Tuesday at 7.30 Mountain Time, which is where I'm at, we will be playing Candyland again. And I can have up to seven guests on my island. So if you would like to come and play Candyland, just make sure you're on the stream right at the beginning and I'll have the Dodo code on screen and you guys are welcome to come to my island, okay? So yes, please get rid of all the presents. Otherwise I have to clean them up. I clean up enough during the day, clean up after my kids. <laughs> Amy says, I had a fairy village with dollhouses on Mario float blocks. Oh, cute. Oh, that's a really cool idea. It's 1030 for you, Ashley? That's late. That is late. I must sleep by 1030 because I'm tired by the end of the day. <laughs> but I am planning on doing some earlier streams too. I'm still getting my schedule up and about, but Tuesdays at 730, guys, I will be here. We'll be playing a mini game. It'll either be Candyland or the fashion show or the pirate treasure or the great British or great animal crossing baking show, whatever it ends up being, but it's going to definitely have lots of gifts and everything. So if you guys are ready, you can go ahead and head back to the airport. This is your normal summer bedtime. <laughs> yeah, you got a shell speaker. Excellent. <laughs> nice. You got a hat. <laughs> that is one of my, well, one of my favorites. <laughs> Now you need the full samurai armor and you will be the unstoppable Amy. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad that you got that hat. You see, you did get something in the end. You did get some some uh, wardrobe pieces, right? Uh, looks like Jude's trying to head out. 30 gold nuggets. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, and anytime you guys um, visit an island or come and visit my island, I'd love to have you guys... You're welcome to hop on the chat. I won't try. I won't have people come every stream, but a lot of times I think it's more fun to play together, right? And then like we were saying before, Animal Crossing chat is just such a pain. So it's better to just chat here, right? Chat here in Twitch. So let your friends know also if they want to come and play, if they want to come visit the island. I'm really trying hard to hit that goal of 20 followers. I'm so close, so close. <laughs> yep, yep, you should go. It should, no, it won't. I will. I'll send you guys home. So once this loads again, I'll just send you guys all home. Then you don't have to all go to the airport. But look, we're all here at the airport anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just send you guys home. It makes it a lot easier. But check your pockets before I do that. I want to make sure that you guys still have your items and everything. So as the game loads, I'll give you a second. Uh, it sent you home automatically. Yeah, sometimes, you know, it does that. But yep, I'll send you guys home. There we go. We'll end the session. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I had a lot of fun. 
and I will see you guys all next time. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. See you guys. Ha, ha, ha.